Torrential rains and destructive winds thanks to tropical cyclone Debbie have wreaked widespread havoc across the central coast of Queensland. Our Sky News reporter Danielle Robertson is on the ground in Bowen. Yeah, that's right. It's particularly on Daydream Island, there are 200 guests and 100 staff who are running out of water. We have more than 1,200 Australian Defence Force personnel and the plan for today is to airlift them out of Daydream Island and take them to safety. Here right now in Bowen, we still remain without power and authorities are saying this could remain for at least a week. We are one of 60,000 people across the region and this is the roads that have also been cut, as you mentioned, uh, they have also been cut north of Bowen, so it's making it difficult for authorities to get the communication network back up and running. Our priority at the moment is isolated communities. Some of them have not been able to call for help for at least three days. And as you mentioned, down in the Whit Sundays, some people have completely run out of food, especially in Airlie Beach where they are cut off. As I mentioned, the Australian Defence Force personnel are going to move in uh, at any moment once it is safe to do so. And right here in Bowen, the Prime Minister, Malcolm Turner, and Labor leader Bill Shorten are going to visit the uh, community that and have a look at the path of destruction that Cyclone Debbie has left here. We saw major flooding in Bowen uh, last night and the last few nights. It peaked at 5.7 metres, which is the highest we've seen in eight years. There have been a number of swift water rescues. In particular, there was one last night. People the message has remained the same. People should not drive through floodwaters, but many are just trying to get home or trying to get out. Thankfully, the community is very well supportive here and they help these people to safety. But as I mentioned, people still need to stay off the roads as it is just too dangerous.